是内蒙古广播电视台融媒体的记者，我的问题是给王新慧代表。Thank you. In the Mongolia media, my question is to Deputy Wang. And as you have been like working in the area to assist the autistic children, what are some of the challenges that have been facing, and um, what drives you to devote yourself into this sector? When we talk about persistent, I want to ask a question. What is your resolution? And um, one of the answers I heard is that um, I would like to live one more day than my children, because that is coming from my mother, from my aut autistic children. Because she said, if I left, I will take my child away because she said it, it is difficult to look after her child. And um, even though she said it in a quite easier way, but I felt quite touched because for her child, he or she always kept himself in isolation. And they have a, also have a misunderstanding um, how to treat others, how to get along with others. And they even don't quite understand the care that provided from their families. And actually for myself, I every day, I have to spend my time with those autistic children. For sometimes they're getting sick and um, it is even tough for them to speak out their requirements to their family members. So for their parents, they have to cover the expenses to cure their children and especially their parents feel fear about the future. It is not an extreme case in China. Every year we have over 100,000 autistic children in the society, and many families actually suffering from this situation. So last year, it is my first time to get in touch with those autistic children. It is quite heartbreaking, and I really want to give more information to these people and uh, want to publicize some of the information. Actually, it is quite tough to um, help help them to cure themselves. It is a world challenge because when they were infants, it is quite difficult to identify whether they are autistic children and we cannot find out the root causes for this kind of disease. There's no way to cure these people. And the second challenge for me is that it is very difficult to carry out our work Sometimes we find it difficult to provide education to these people. And for the special education in China, it actually does not cover the group of the autistic children. I remember one of my kids and um, his or her parents are actually working in central government. And when the kid grow up, there's no, they found that there's no kindergarten that would like to accept the kid. Three years has passed, but still these kids are kept alone from the kindergarten. If we cannot solve the problem of education for them when they grow up, they may probably face more challenges and difficulties. At this point, this child is just a burden for the family, but in the future, probably they will become the burden for the society. I have been working in this industry for 15 years even though it requires a lot of hard work. But um, what I think, discrimination is more bother me. When people talk about the autistic children, they always think they're quite dumb. They're a little bit retarded. But for me, at the beginning, I feel quite heartbreaking. I want to think maybe in the future, I. I will leave this industry. But one of the parents come to me and said that, please don't leave. 
because you are our hope, and in the future, our children depend on you. So I think even though it is a tough job, I would like to continue my efforts to help these autistic children, and also wish in the future relevant departments to carry out more R&D on the autistic children, and to provide more support to this vulnerable group, and also call on the government and the local authorities to give more pr preferential policies towards this group, so that these children can receive education as others. So I wish in the future, the society can attach more, attach more attention to the autistic children so that they can enjoy a decent life in the future. Thank you.